Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how I turned this little fan I found at the charity shop into a gothic fa fan to go with um, my gothic outfits and what I like to wear. I don't have very elaborate gothic outfits, but I, but I have some outfits that I wear and um, this is the fan that would go with it. So this fan is like a sort of DIY fan. Um, it's made out of like a very thin wood. Um, and very plain so the first thing I needed to do was paint it black you probably can get these online um, or from um, craft stores I just happened to find this in the charity shop so that's where I got it from and it cost me one pound um, so it's a nice cheap DIY as well now at first I was going to paint it without separating the sections um, but then during the process of trying to dry the first layer of paint, I actually broke the little cord that was holding the sections together. So I ended up separating the sections out, painting both sides, and then restringing it. Um, but you can do it like this if you don't want to take it apart. You just have to make sure the brush goes in between each layer so that the paint is covering the whole thing. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just making sure I go in those layers. Um, probably would have worked better if I'd have used an airbrush to get in the little holes um, or used spray paint. Although spray paint might have um, gummed it up enough so it wouldn't fold and unfold anymore. So um, I'm using acrylic paint and a brush. Then once it's painted black all over on both sides it looks like this. And at this point I've restrung it so that it's connected again. And then it's a case of using the little, there's like a little loop on the bottom of the fan, uh, which you can hang decorations from. Excuse my hands, obviously I've just finished painting the fan and drying it, um, and I just wanted to finish the DIY, so I haven't washed my hands yet, but it's only paint. I've got these little school beads, which I've put onto some thread, and I've just threaded those and I'm going to attach that to the fan. I wanted some sort of gothic dangly thing coming from the fan, so I decided to pick these little skulls. I've also got a pentagram. That's an earring that I bought, um, but I can't wear earrings like that because I've got stretched it, stretch lobes. So I kept them so I could use them for DIYs like this. So I've just took the earring part off and then threaded some cord through instead. And then here I'm deciding on the length of my skulls and then I'm just going to tie that on. And then I just did this um, sort of weaving method that you use when you make friendship bands to give it a nice sort of twisty, um, it creates like a sort of spiral design in the knots. So that's what I did for this. If you find your fans moving as you tie things on, just put something light but firm enough to hold the fan in place. That way you can tie on whatever you need to do without the fan moving around. But of course it's not heavy enough to actually cause any problems. If you notice there is a slight hole on the left hand side, um, at some point I'll just remove that little section. That got damaged as I was painting. Because um, it is very, very thin, the wood that was used for this. It's like a very thin box wood. Um, so I broke one little bit, but never mind. Like I said, it only cost me a pound, so I'm not going to worry about it. And as you can see, I'm just using this braiding method to create a spirally knot design for this thread that's got the skulls on. like so and I used to use this when I used to make friendship bracelets as a kid um, it's coming useful to make little decorative ties and things and I just keep going until I get near the bottom like so and then you can twist the knots around to create the spiral pattern So as you can see, now I've finished that, it's like making like a spiral pattern on the cord. 
and I'm just neating it off and tying off the ends to make sure it doesn't come undone and then I'll cut off the excess cord and then so I've got the pentagram and the skulls hanging from it and then what I'll do is I've got some red ribbon I'm also going to put through and once it's finished it looks like this and I've made it so that the ribbon's like a handhold so I can actually hold it or loop it around my wrist and then it's got the skulls and the pentagram on it and that's it that's how to make a very simple gothic fan hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now